Hi there, and good evening. This is Scott. That's Scott Trades on Twitter with StockMarketMentor.com and your chart of the day. Want to take a look at the Amplify Transformational Data Sharing ETF ticker BLOK. Now, I think I've mentioned this one in the past, but it's a great vehicle if you want blockchain exposure. They have a bunch of uh, crypto miners, but they also have stocks like Alibaba and Walmart kind of mixed in. So you get a good swath of the market in terms of uh, Bitcoin miners, uh, Square is in there, PayPal, you know, a little fintech, and then it also has some retailers just to balance it out. And and this is one that I recommend if anyone wants crypto exposure, Bitcoin exposure, Bitcoin mining exposure, to be more specific, but doesn't want to deal with the volatility that some of the crypto miners have. Now, that volatility can be a gift, like Marathon Digital, you know, it's up 17% today. You could say that that is a gift of upside volatility. But this stock could technically, from this high here, pull back 10% or so just to back test this breakout and still not break that trend. And so maybe you don't want all of that volatility, but you still want a little exposure. And so that's where the BLOK ETF can really come in handy because it gives you that exposure, but it also is a little more manageable for anyone who's more of a swing trader, passive investor, but still wants to trade with a little size. And so as you can see here, we have a base breakout of the block ETF. And this is coming on news that a uh, crypto exchange backed by some pretty big normal, I guess, uh, institutional names like Charles Schwab, Fidelity and Citadel has launched, and that's EDX Markets. And so they've officially launched for trading today, and they're going to be allowing trading of uh, Bitcoin, Ether, Litecoin, and for some reason, Bitcoin Cash. And so this is big for crypto because we've heard over the last couple of days and weeks, Bitcoin's dead. It's over. They're going after Binance. Sorry, crypto bros. Your fun is done. And now it's going to all go to zero. But what we're seeing is while exchanges like Binance, FTX, and you know some other players get investigated by the SEC and other regulators, what we're finding is institutional players, the people who are already in some of the markets, want a little of this trillion dollar crypto asset class. And so that's what I'm seeing under the surface while everyone is getting sued for having anything crypto to do with them. Uh, the, the normal institutional players are grabbing a piece of that pine. We're seeing that play out today. And that's what we need, in my opinion, for crypto to survive. We need institutional players like Fidelity to really say, look, this is an asset class. It has value. And here's a safe way to trade it. And that's what we're getting today with the launch of EDX markets. Now, I'm not uh, a proponent of EDX. I don't use the platform at all. I'm just saying we need institutional players to get into crypto for that wall of money for the asset class to really be adopted, not only uh, here in the United States and North America, but also worldwide. We need institutional money to come into this space. And so we're kind of seeing that play out here. And I think a great way to get exposure to that is with this BLOK ETF. And so want to bring this to your attention. If it's not already, and one of the stocks, one of the Bitcoin miners, was actually added to our active trade list by Dan Fitzpatrick today over at StockMarketMentor.com. If you want more details on that, take a trial. Click the link. Your first 14 days are only 7 bucks. I hope to see you on the other side.